Hello folks, it's another day, and uh, yeah, so he was sleeping out on the edge of the deck, uh, well, so I caught him this morning sleeping under the table, and then uh, about our normal feeding time, I caught him, you know, sleeping at the edge of the deck, and he was so sound asleep, I was able to actually go out onto the deck, he didn't notice I was there, and I got... I didn't get that close, but I was able to get slightly closer pictures. Um, uh, and then I think he woke up, and then um, I went back inside, and he went back to sleep. And then I finally brought out his water bowl, and then I think he just kind of was still more interested in sleeping. So I just um, kind of uh, went back in and... I left the food at the door to see, you know, if he'd do anything. Um, and so he's moved to under the table now. So he's a little bit closer, I guess, within, you know, visual range, though not at the usual edge of the table there. So um, I think I'm going to play it a little simpler today. Uh, or we, yeah, today. Um, so I'm not going to try to pet him with the brush. Um, I'm not going to try to hand feed him or anything. I'm not going to do much. I'm just going to try to get him to come close to me while I'm sitting out there. Um, film him. And then uh, I'm not going to give him chicken today. So, or, yeah, maybe tonight, but, yeah, not today. So, um, so this is the Kirkland Plus Meow Mix. Um, and then the golf balls are still there. So I think he's starting to get used to the balls, but yeah, I think I'll give him another day here to get used to the balls and I won't try any other thing with him. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go step out and I will be back in a moment. So about, it's been about 20 minutes or so uh, since uh, I stopped filming. I decided to open the screen door for the TV so you could hear the volume for the quote unquote psyops. But uh, when I opened that door, uh, Scruffy decided, he was still under the table, decided to basically saunter off the deck in the far back and he has not returned. So. I think he might be irritated, um, and I don't know if he's hungry, because he has not approached the door as far as I know. I've been coming and going, and just keeping an eye on things, but as far as I know, he's not come back. Usually what I expect is, yeah, he would just kind of park you know, near his spot, near the edge of the table or something, or near the door if he wants food, but he's not doing that, so if he doesn't come back soon, we may just have to abort this afternoon feeding, and yeah, he may not get food this afternoon. Um, so, well, maybe I'll see you guys later, or I'll see you at the next feeding, which will be probably tonight. Bye-bye. Hey, gang. Scruffy's back. It's evening. So, to fill you in, he never came back this afternoon, so I didn't feed him. Um, there's actually a slightly longer story to that, but, uh, <clears throat> I guess I'll tell it to you, uh, as I get closer to the door. My suspicion is that he's hungry, but um, I don't know, maybe he disappeared for a while, so maybe he just ate, maybe he found something, a mouse or a lizard, or I don't know what they eat. Do they eat lizards? Hey, Scruffy. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> okay, so this afternoon is a recap. Uh, he was sleeping... Uh, under the table and at the edge of the deck, um, and he's basically been shifting around all morning slash af early afternoon, and then at our normal feeding time, um, he was still sleeping, and uh, <clears throat> I didn't know what to do, um, so I thought I'd wait a little, you know, just a little bit, not not that much, like you know, five minutes or something like that, and then I decided to go open the patio door with the psyops um, so you could hear the volume <clears throat> and I think that woke him up and he saw me and then I mean we weren't close I mean the table is pretty far back and the, you know the door is on this side so we're, you know we're not even 
we're not even, you know, um, striking distance, you know, we're, we're not in each other's space. But anyway, he sees me, and then he walks off the deck. And, you know, so he goes, takes the back entrance, jumps off the side of the deck there, and disappears. Um, and I'm basically sitting here wondering if he's going to come back. And, you know, it's already, you know, a little bit on the late end of his normal uh, meal time. <clears throat> so I don't know what he's doing. So I ended up waiting around thinking he might come back. And basically I burned a bunch of time. And basically I was um, basically late. I needed to do some other things. And so it was getting late. So I said, okay, I guess I'm not going to feed him. And so right as I'm getting up, I see him jump back on the deck. I don't think he saw me. I think it was a coincidence. And and he started making his way over slowly. And <clears throat> I basically decided to ignore him and pretend I didn't see him. Because basically he wasted the whole afternoon and he basically you know, didn't come to the food when it was there. And, you know... Uh, I think he's playing a game with me. I think he's trying to assert his dominance, but in this case, um, he's not, one, not the one who's dominant. Uh, <clears throat> so I decided to play hardball, and I didn't give him any food. So I peeked outside periodically, and pretty much he continued sleeping all over different places of the deck for <clears throat> the rest of the afternoon, and then finally near the end of the afternoon, I lost sight of him, and I suspect, yeah, he went hunting or something like that. And so it's it's a little bit earlier, so it's about 8.30 now. Um, so I think, what, last night he came around 9.30, and then previous nights he comes around 10.30. Um, so I actually didn't expect to see him this early. I was eating my dinner. And uh, he just came back uh, up to the screen door. And so you saw me uh, walk over to the chair next to the screen door, and he walked back, and I'm wondering if I should force him to come back to the screen door before I... Uh, give him his food, just to kind of make him commit to uh, a procedure. Or... <laughs> so now he doesn't even want the food. So where are you going, Scruffy? Find a mouse? Okay, so I think we're going to be playing a little power game here. So I think I'm going to go back to my dinner. And I'm going to pause the phone here and hope he comes back. My plan for tonight was basically, or my plan for today actually was just to give him regular cat food, no chicken for lunch. I was thinking maybe I'd give him ch a chicken for dinner. I want him to get used to not having chicken all the time. Um, and I wasn't going to use the brush. Um, so I was just going to let him eat out of the bowl with me nearby. But uh, I may continue that. If he's hungry enough, I was tempted to try the brush again. But he's being a diva again, so I'll probably won't try the brush. But I, I still got to get him to commit. So I'm going to try this one more time. So I'll be back. Hopefully. Uh-oh. We have a new cat that just showed up. This is not good, and he's big. So I actually don't want more cats in the backyard. Scruffy just went off the other direction. So I'm not sure how to handle this guy. Interestingly, he's watching the TV. So, he's big. Wow. I haven't seen this one before. I've seen an all black cat before, but not one with a all with a white white nose. And definitely not this big. So I think I'm going to try to scare him off. 
because I don't want a second cat around here. And oh crap, I think he found the last night's uh, catnip. Crap. <laughs> it's been about another 40 minutes. Uh, Scruffy's back finally. He hasn't come to the door yet, so I'm not sure what I should do. So I'm thinking if he comes to the screen door, then I'll go to the chair, he'll move back. Maybe instead of waiting for him to come back to the screen door, which he didn't last time, maybe I'll just go out. But that presumes he actually comes. So I'm going to pause here because I don't know if he's going to come. And I don't know what happened to that other cat. <laughs> so Scruffy's just chilling, didn't come any closer. I think I'm going to grab a treat and put it at the door, see what happens. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to open up the screen door now and drop a treat right in front of the door, see what happens. You hungry? Some little treats right there. Want some food? I just kind of wonder if there's something wrong with him, but I don't know, he slept all day and I don't know, he's been moving back and forth, so I don't think there's anything wrong with him. Where did the other cat be? It freaked him out? I don't know, he's not hissing or doing any other weird things, just chilling, so I don't know. I don't understand cats. <laughs> if any of you out there can help me, I don't know what's going on and I don't know how to handle Scruffy here. I don't know, maybe I should have traded him for the black one. <laughs> the black one actually looks like yeah, he responds to catnip. But, uh, knowing my luck, I'd just be stuck with two cats. And, uh, I was trying to get a close look at the other one's ear. It doesn't look like he's uh, been clipped. So, I'm going to have to set out the traps. Want the treat? So you know Scruffy has kind of nodding behavior, especially when he's looking at the food. I looked it up briefly. It sounds like nodding actually might be a health problem. So it could be ear problem. Could it be anything from earwax to an infection? Uh, it could be something worse. Might be nothing though. It could be just normal for the cat. So hard to say. Okay. You know, chances of me getting him to a vet anytime soon they're slim. We have to make a lot more progress before I can even think about getting him to a vet because I can't even get close to this cat for practical purposes. I'm not terribly enthusiastic about how much it would cost to These aren't the best treats, <laughs> so he, yeah, he might say, "Yeah, treat, Ugh. give me the real food." So, you want some food, Scruffy? Uh, if he sits back down, I'm gonna go out. If he gets up for the treat, then we'll keep going. If he just stays there, then I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Nine fifteen. So I mean, we are a little bit earlier than last night. So we're you know basically an hour earlier than last night, an hour earlier than the night before. So it could be that it's just too early and he did get a snack this afternoon, so he doesn't care. At the same time, I, you know, he didn't feed him this afternoon, so I have no idea. Is he going to move? Going for the treat?
I'm gonna open the screen door. I'm gonna drop one more treat on the mat right next to the door. Come on, treat. Oops. That was a really bad drop. I was trying to get it on the mat and it rolled over to the right. I don't know what's wrong with this cat. <laughs> I thought he was going to go for it, and then, yeah, I think he licked himself. Okay, I am a little bit concerned here. We're losing a lot of progress, so I think I'm going to go out with the food. No brush, I'm just going to make him sit get the food next to me. Okay, so I'm gonna go out, pick up the treats while I'm at it. And, um, whoops, oh no, he's going for it. I think he's going for it. I don't know, is he just that much more skittish? So I know our relations have not been good these past few days, but I thought they were improving because you know he did eat the past couple days. It's like I'm giving him food, so and as far as I know, he hasn't been throwing up. I'm actually thinking the water in the food it was contributing to the vomit. Yeah, I noticed. So the two days he threw up, I was probably putting a. So definitely the last day he threw up, I put a lot of water in there. And I think he was unhappy just eating it in general. I think I put a little bit more water in the day before as well. Um, I finally reviewed that video and yeah, he did throw up. Uh, I did see it, I, saw, I didn't see it when he threw up. I, I saw him cough, I, I was joking, maybe he's caught, you know, throwing up or something. But he actually did throw up uh, and it's on the video. <laughs> What the heck? Is he smelling the silver vine? It might be smelling the other cat. Okay. I think I'm going to go out. Okay, Scruffy. I'm going to come out. Okay. So I'm going to keep myself turned. For some reason, I think he's going to hiss at me. Okay. I don't know. Our relationship's not really bad. And I don't know why. Oh, you're scruffy. Going right for the food. Zoom out. So I think he really hates those balls. But yeah, you eat too fast. You gotta slow down. That's what the balls are for. I don't know, maybe he's just, he's holding a grudge because of the balls. Are you angry at me because of the golf balls? cat looked huge compared to Scruffy. So I'm, I, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a judge of cat sizes, so I don't know what's average. But yeah, to me, Scruffy looks like he's on the small side. So we found the ones on the plate.
just me moving the camera. I'm thinking I might want to brace the ball at the foot. Okay, I'm going to brace the... Okay, see, I'm just having a hard time getting the food. So, he did a good job yesterday, so I was thinking I'm going to stick with the big giant, the, the big squishy ball. But, um, I don't know, he seems to really hate the golf balls. Maybe I'll get back to the golf, all three golf balls instead of the squishy ball plus two golf balls. I don't know. Let's we'll see how he does. But you know, you're eating kind of fast, Scruffy, so I don't want you throwing up. So there's been no word on my Valerian root order, so I'm really hoping it's shipped. Because yeah, the sooner that gets here, the better. Because yeah, I really need a breakthrough. Because I think things are getting worse and worse with Scruffy. Maybe I should start befriending that uh, new gr uh, black cat. Either way, I'm going to have to set out probably a trap for that cat. Because, yeah, I don't think it's been neutered. The last thing we need are, are more cats in this neighborhood, so... There is at least one other black cat that's much smaller, skinnier, short hair, not like that one we saw. Um, the other size, I think, is probably closer to Scruffy than what we saw in the big giant one. Uh, there may be two of them, I'm not sure. Um, then there's two white cats, both short hair, um, and then there's a gray cat with black stripes. I think. Um, that one's kind of new. I, yeah, when I, I thought maybe that was the cat until I saw it was all black. I thought maybe that was the cat that was sneaking in here because that one has a I caught I have caught in my front yard and in my backyard before. Um, and then. I think it was a calico cat. It had kind of the same coloring as Scruffy here, so I, miss, I think I mistook it for Scruffy. Um, and then, and then when it was running away from me, I saw its tail, and it was not quite as furry; it was more thin-haired. So I think it was actually another cat. And that one was where I, I see the tiger, the black, uh, gray and black striped cat. So yeah, I'm only giving a Scruffy uh, the portion that he's going to get this uh, morning or afternoon. Um, so he's not getting you know, double portions. So because he missed a meal, uh, yeah, that's uh, kind of his punishment. So I think it was kind of nice coming out here. Um, I think yeah, he should have come to the door. But yeah, I, I, our relationship seems to be to have been fractured somehow. Um, I thought it was getting better since he's eaten the past couple days, but yeah, we seem to be. I think things. I think things are getting a little worse. So I'm not sure how to rebuild this trust. So I think that we need that Valerian root and um, honeysuckle pretty badly because because I'm giving him food. And, yeah. Still afraid of me. He doesn't want to get close. Let's take off. Okay, so I got two treats in my hand still. Oops. I can zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to after he's done I'm gonna see if he wants the treat. Let's see if you'll take it from my hand. Scruffy, 
Want to treat? Treat? Still hungry? You just ate. But, uh, I don't know how much you ate today. So, yeah, he doesn't seem very interested. He didn't actually seem very interested in the treats before either. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe I need to give him new treats. These treats might be just really bad. So it's the nine lives. I haven't opened the temptations yet. Still got like half a bag of these uh, nine lives. Oh, here he comes. Want it for my thing? Yeah. Oops. We got another one. I want my finger. I don't know, maybe his eyesight's bad. See it? Okay, there it is. So I got one more. Got one more? I'm kind of wondering if he's an old cat. He's smelling something. This is the treat. Good boy. Got some spit off on me, so I have to wash my hands. Well, he at least took it from my hand, so he's not completely afraid of me. So yeah, I, I washed the toy to try to get the catnip off of it, and then uh, I hang it out to dry. I had it hanging in the house, and it's still wet after like two days, <laughs> so. Um, so maybe, uh, I don't know what the weather is supposed to be like tomorrow, but yeah, maybe uh, being outside will help it dry. And then, you know, knowing my luck, I'll probably just attract that uh, black cat again. So yeah, if you, yeah, if you remember, I don't know if I recorded it, um, but uh, I soaked one of the, the, I think it was the white strand, completely in the catnip oil or spray. So I just opened the bottle, dipped the whole thing, submerged that whole strand in the uh, catnip spray, water, oil, whatever it is. Then you know, let it soak, pulled it out, and then I basically ringed it with the other two strands and so basically, yeah, both, all three strands were soaked in the catnip oil. And I was hoping, this is before I got the real catnip, so I was hoping maybe it was like a dosage thing. So maybe I just needed a lot of it to get scruffy attached to the um, um, catnip oil. To, I mean, attracted to the catnip um, oil, and no, it's not that. <laughs> so I, I did wash it um, in uh, some dishwashing liquid yeah i don't know if that's gonna be enough oh yeah and also before that yeah i actually rubbed cat real catnip all over the thing um so i had to wash that out too but, so there could be a lingering catnip uh sense to it so that black cat may pick it up again um so yeah i didn't real so i was hoping scruffy would come and defend his turf well, when that black cat came, but he had actually just walked off the other end of the deck like a minute before the black one came. So I don't know if that was coincidence or if Scruffy was running. He didn't look like he was nervous or anything. He just kind of went off. Um, but yeah, I, I've heard, you know, the cats are territorial and they'll defend their turf. And I mean, really, you know, Scruffy's been here for... I want to say years. Um, I know, so I know he's been here at least the last year. Um, so I wasn't paying attention to how the cats looked, so I couldn't really tell. Um, and so I didn't really start paying attention until recently about the specific cats. And yeah, that's interesting. Scruffy came up to me. Yeah, well, not exactly up to me, but usually he backs off. He doesn't come closer. So you smell in the silver vine finally? 
Or is he smelling the other cat? Like the other cat? Oh, silver vine. I tried giving you the silver vine, you didn't seem to like it. And you don't seem to like catnip. So we're going to try honeysuckle and um, valerian root. But that has to get here first. But for both our sticks, I hope one or both of those things work. I'm also getting a, um, another shipment of silver vine with that packet. So this is like all silver vine, it's not mixed in with catnip. So I don't know if there's a purity or any a purity test or something that you demand. But we can try that too. But I really need you to react positively to it. Because... I don't think we're having a good time in our current relationship. I think uh, the relationship's been pretty rocky this past, you know, I wouldn't say week, but you know, maybe four days. Yeah, sorry, no more food. So you do need to learn a lesson. You know, if you don't come out for food during uh, when I'm here, and when I want to give you the food, you're not going to get the food. Yeah, I know some of you cat lovers may find that harsh, but... I thought there was a general principle that you gotta, you know, be firm with your pets. You, know, you gotta lay down the rules or they'll, you know, run all over you. So... Isn't there, like, some dog whisper program and some cat whisper program or something like that? Uh, no, not cat whisper. It's like I, I now that I've been like looking up cat videos and stuff, trying to understand cats. Um, what's his name? Uh, yeah, Jackson Galaxy. Yeah, he keeps coming up in my uh, search feeds, and I, I found out. Yeah, and so YouTube is also trying to show me his uh, TV shows. So I guess he's like a cat whisperer, but I guess he has his own show. I don't know his actual title, but that's a, that's a pretty cool name, Jackson Galaxy. <laughs> Got to credit him for branding the marketing. That's that's a, that's a cool name. I'm gonna blink. Okay, the Scruffy's had it. He got his food. Okay, folks. Well, thanks for joining me. I know this is a kind of a unusual day. I think Scruffy just farted. I smell something. <laughs> okay, I'm going in. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.